lightning left hook. A white towel of surrender fluttered into the ring from the ramage corner. But another white symbol in alarming numbers not only refused to surrender, but brought the battle for white supremacy to the very steps of the capital. Joe Lewis could knock white opponents cold, but he and his black brothers were up against a faceless enemy still chanting, if you want to be champion, you better be white. That was the unspoken house rule in the Citadel of Boxing, Madison Square Garden in New York. Discrimination was very uh, prominent in those, those years, and uh, people, of course, never gave the black fighter promoters never gave the black fighter the opportunity that he justly deserved. And Joe Lewis came along and changed all that. Joe Lewis was a man who was respected by everyone in the world. I mean, he was loved and, and admired. And the boxing writers of New York, I recall, uh, have a, an annual dinner. And this was in the uh, middle 30s. And Jimmy Walker, who was the father of the boxing law in New York State today, he was the master of ceremonies at the dinner. And Joe Lewis was being honored. And when Joe Lewis was introduced, Jimmy Walker in his way, he had the way with words. He looked at Joe Lewis for a moment and he said, Joe, you laid a rose on Lincoln's grave. And there must have been about five or six hundred people there. And just as one, they all stood up and cheered and applauded for several minutes. Joe Lewis had the talent, but he needed a master strategist to open the door. Enter Uncle Mike Jacobs.